in this video we're going to take a look at how you can um, upgrade your SSD on the MacBook Pro um, either 2013, 2014 or 2015. Now before you uh, proceed to upgrade your SSD card, you should back up the operating system and your data uh, to a backup disk so that later you can restore all your data and operating system back to the new uh, hard disk. So what you want to do is click on the Apple, click on System Preferences and then in here click on Time Machine. Using Time Machine you can select a backup disk and then you can backup to an external uh, hard disk drive which later we're going to use to restore it back to your new uh, SSD uh, upgrade um, device. So once you have backup we want to shut down the computer. So we're going to shut down the computer. Okay now there are 10 wheels that we need to take out. All these wheels they are come in different uh, size so make sure that you put them in the right order. Don't uh, mix them up. So here's the first wheel, what it looks like. So you can see the size of the thrills. So continue to take out uh, all the other thrills. Uh, make sure that you place them in the correct order so that later you can uh, put the right one back in the right hole. So remove the 10 thrills. And then we're going to take out the back cover. Just put your um, finger along the back there and pull up They are very easy to take off. And that's the back right there. Okay, next we're going to need to disconnect the battery connector. And just uh, put your finger in and lift up the battery connector right there at the center. Lift it up high enough so that it will not come back down. Otherwise, you may cause um, short circuits if you are in the middle of removing the SSD drive. So just lift up like that and uh, let it hang out like that. Next, we're going to um, remove the screws. There's one pentel of screws that's holding down the SSD drive. So we need to take out the screws right there. Be very careful that you um, go slowly and you don't force. It should be very easy to take out. Just, you don't want to share the screws, just be careful. And that's it. So now we're going to lift up the SSD card. Just um, lift up gently, slightly, not too hard, and then pull out just like that and this is your SSD drive inside your MacBook Pro 2015 so this is the top side this is what it looks like when you are getting a replacement make sure you get the same one similar to that and this is the back so you can see it got the serial number uh, the size and the uh, other information so once you got a new one you can put it back in so once you grab a new SSD drive, just simply uh, push it back in. Now again, uh, tilt it at a slight angle and then push into the slot, like so. And then place it down uh, with uh, no force. It should come down gently. And then now we're going to put uh, the screw back on. Again, when you put the screw back on, do not use too much force. It should be nice and easy. And that's it. So now, uh, after that, we're going to reconnect the battery connector. So push the battery connector down. And we're going to place the cover back on. Then put the screws um, back on uh, in the correct place. So make sure you put the right screw in the right spot. Next up, we're going to start the computer. Now we're going to need to press on the command and the R key together. So press and hold down command R and then with the other hand press and hold to the power button. So push and hold and wait. Wait until you see the Apple logo appears and then let go of the power key while continue to hold down the command and the R keys. So now you can see I let go of the power button but continue to hold down the command and the R keys. Continue to hold it until you see uh, we are going to a uh, utility screen or the recovery screen. So here we are going to the Mac uh, OS utility screen. Now after that you can let go of all the keys. And here you want to choose reinstall uh, oh sorry, you want to choose restore from the time machine. So we're going to choose restore from time machine. Make sure that you have plug in your backup drive uh, if it is not connected. So plug in your backup drive and then uh, click on the continue to choose a backup. 
uh, to restore to your new uh, SSD drive. Once you have done that, you can uh, go on to your operating system. And that's it. So that should be uh, fairly easy. So click on the Apple, click on About Mac. And then here you should be able to see information about your SSD drive. And when you purchase, make sure that you purchase the right one. You don't want to buy the wrong one and end up uh, having the wrong one for your laptop and it might ruin your uh, MacBook Pro. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos.